Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to the video for an Unreal concept for a simple idle timer. This was a request that someone had, and we whipped up a simple idle timer. Basically, if I move my mouse, it resets the timer. If I use any of the keys on my keyboard, it resets the timer. Or if I click any of the mouse buttons, it resets the timer. Now, after an elapsed time, it's going to go ahead and say that I'm AFK. And it's going to basically treat me as AFK if I have anything running. For example, I want to kick the player, prompt them to log out, maybe no longer allow them to have resource games, whatever you'd like. And then if I move the mouse or keyboard again, it's going to tell me the timer is reset. So let's look at how we did this. This example is actually more robust than it needs to be, but I'm trying to show you how simple it is as well. And this is actually pretty simple. We have an action that I've named any key. This any key action is actually the entire <clears throat> reason we can do this. Inside of our input, inside of our action mapping, I've named this any key. I have labeled, I have put in inputs for whatever I want to track. And the important one here is actually any key. As of version, I want to say 4.12, they added in the ability to actually track any key on the keyboard. If you go and type in any, you'll find any key. So we can track any key on the keyboard, mouse X and mouse Y, left mouse button and right mouse button. So you'd want this basically to be whatever the required input is for your idle timer. In this case, it's these mouse buttons, mouse axes, and any key on the keyboard. If we go ahead and close this and we go back to our idle timer, you're going to now find basically it's listening for any of those input actions and input will input generally doesn't consume itself input actions will fire multiple times so in this case as you can see here I can move with my arrows and it will reset the timer and still move my character because my character up here has the normal oh, where did it go right here the move forward and move left move right axis which are mapped to my keyboard keys. So what I'm doing after I press any of those is I'm simply setting a float called idle timer to zero. That's it. And then I print string and I set the is player AFK node to false. These are completely optional. This is here just to show in my example. All you really need are these two things. Basically, if I do an action, let's reset the timer to zero. Now on our tick, I'm checking to see if the player is AFK. Now I'm checking to see if they're AFK so my other code doesn't keep running. But if you're going to do an immediate action, you don't need this code. For example, let me unhook these branches and let me unhook this. Let's run it directly to our normal code right here. So basically on the tick, we're going to set the idle timer to whatever our current delta is or the elapsed time since the last time this blueprint ran and add it to our idle timer. So this is basically going to continue counting up. We'll check and see if it's above our idle time, which in this case I've set to five seconds. And if it is, we're gonna do something. Now in this case, I was printing out a test thing. We're gonna go ahead and show how we can set this to an instant action. So I'm gonna go ahead, if the player doesn't do anything within five seconds, they get destroyed. Player moves around, he's running, he's fine. Oh, I've gotta go for a drink. I stop doing anything, I wander away. After five seconds, the character gets destroyed. And that's it. You don't need a boolean here and a boolean here to check if they're AFK. If you're going to do an immediate action, like in this case, destroying the actor or logging them out. But if you just want to flag them as AFK, maybe for example, it's an online game, you have them sit down to indicate they're AFK. You can set a boolean so it doesn't keep checking. Still keeps them in the game, but maybe you have some other routines that are running like a skill or macro or you know something that relies on them being at the keyboard you simply disable it temporarily you could use the boolean options here to do that but that's it it's really simple to simply set up one action input assign to that action input anything you care about being triggered so in this case my mouse and my keyboard keys pull it every frame so basically if any input action comes in i'm going to go ahead and set my idle timer to zero and then on the tick just make sure my idle timer is still less than my however long i want it to be and if not i'm going to do something 
So that right there is our simple idle timer. Don't worry about the fact this is on a tick. This is very minimal. All we're basically doing is incrementing a variable and doing an if check. You need to keep in mind there are ticks always running in the engine. You have to think, keep that in mind. I've said it twice, but you need to keep that in mind. This isn't going to be a big performance issue. Your inputs are always running every frame. That's how the input comes in. You already have things ticking. This is not right here, very performant, very heavy on performance. This is perfectly fine. And if branch in a setter, it's not going to cause any issues. And that is going to wrap up our concept for a simple idle timer.